Good day students. Welcome to my standard 5th computer class. I am going to show you two pictures. Identify them and tell its use. The first one, that is a mixer and it is used to grind. The second one, it is a water kettle and it is used to make the water hot. Now tell me, will I be able to get hot water if I just switch on this button on the kettle? No, because it needs electricity. So we have to plug it, switch it on. Now we can put on the switch on the kettle and it will start working. A mixer will only work when it is connected and it gets the electricity. These gadgets or devices, they work on electricity and they are called electronic devices. So in today's class, we will learn about another electronic device that is a computer. Let us first try to see what is a computer. A computer is an electronic device which takes data, stores it, processes it and gives us information. We call it an electronic device because it works on electricity. Here, data means some text, music, videos, etc. Students, whenever a teacher teaches you, you listen carefully and you can remember it well because whatever you have listened, you have saved it. The computer also saves or stores data whenever it gets data. Let's try to understand the difference between data and information. All these years you have learned so many things, that's data. For example, if someone asks you the capital of India, to tell the answer you will think. After thinking, I'm sure you will quickly tell the answer, Delhi. Here Delhi is the information. What you have learned all these years is data. Thinking to give a correct answer is processing. Your answer Delhi is information. So in the same way computer also processes data and gives us information. Now let's learn about the parts of the computer. Here we are going to discuss about a desktop personal computer. The parts are as follows, monitor, keyboard, mouse and system unit. To run a computer, we need these three components. They are hardware, software and people. All the parts of the computer which we can see and we can also touch are termed as hardware. For example, mouse, monitor or system unit which we can see and also touch. Now let's try to understand the meaning of software. I'll give you an example. Suppose you want to go to your friend's place for the first time. I'm sure you will require some directions or instructions. <clears throat> Similarly, a computer cannot work 
if it is not given instructions. So, the instructions that direct the computer to perform a particular task is termed as software. For example, any game software or Windows 10 operating system. Now let's try to understand why people are considered to be the component of a computer. People are considered to be the component of the computer because without people the hardware and software cannot be made or created. For example, software developers and or computer operators or computer engineers to build a computer. So students, in today's class we have learned about the definition of a computer, parts and components of a computer. I hope you have understood it well. Students, now you can go back and read the chapter What is a Computer and understand it well. Thank you.